Right. Josh, you, you had a chance to go pro. Mm -hmm. So why did you decide to come back? Oh, yeah. I feel like that whole process is more of a test, maybe as a man of faith, though. Sometimes God's plan has to go different than your plan. You know, I had those couple injuries last year, um, a little less production, but also, like, I think just um, even things off the field, just mentally and physically, I just felt like my, I had a lot of more le meat left on the bone here at Rice, you know. We didn't get the bowl game win that we got. Um, we didn't we get quite the fans we won last year. I feel like there's so much great talent and so many great things going on here. I felt like personally and team-wise, like there was so much more left to do here. And I feel like, all right, it's the best decision. Come back here, have a great season as a team, and then feel like we have just way more goals that we can achieve here. And now it's here to do them. How has Rice changed since you got here, since you arrived in them? Uh, we alluded to it, like just being so player led. I feel like uh, when I first got here, it was really team led. Also, we had great leaders. Trust me, we had great leaders when I first came here. But now, like the the vocal um, leadership that we're getting from the like, older guys here has been a real testament to our success. And just like that culture, the culture of winning. Instead of just going out there trying to win, we go out there and expect to win. I feel like that's like the biggest, the biggest change from like going from year one into year six. Now it's crazy to say it, but yeah, like going there expecting to win and just having the confidence that we, as, no matter who we play, no matter who we suit up against, like all right, like we're here to win. Physically, how have you changed from, from freshman year to now? Oh, that's that's been huge. Like um, I would say, like it's not even in like just the height and the weight and everything. Really, just like the way that I play and the way that I train. Like working more on my hips, working more on my drops, working more on just my ability to rush the pass and my ability to play off the ball and on the ball. Just being more versatile. So that's the biggest change that I made. I was kind of more just on the line when I first got here, but year after year, I've been working with coaches, working with coaches like Coach Sowers, working with coaches like Coach K and Coach Calhoun. Like everybody's been being able to even coach mod i even go to him and talk to him about route combination you know just using the resources around me has really helped me to be able to be more versatile as a player are you more how would you describe your leadership style you a doer or are you a talker as well um when i first got here i was just always do by example guy but like as i've been more into that leadership role i've been much more of a talker and much more um of a vocal guy and that's something that wasn't coming at first but now I, I love it I love being at the top but also if I were to describe my leadership it would be a, a servant leader I love serving the people around me I love just like seeing other people's success and I feel like the more that I can do to help contribute towards my team's success like def defines me more as a leader honestly and like just being able to help others and I see the work that they put and I see all the early mornings that we all do so like being able to understand that this, that the work that they're putting in is the same that we're all putting in that I'm able to relate to that and just you know help them be successful as I can. Do you have personal goals for this season? Oh yeah, absolutely. But right now I'm just taking it one day at a time. You know, um, in the past, you know, probably everybody has those goals and everything. But you know, just taking it one day at a time, really just falling in love with the process. You know, just. Um, controlling what I control, not worrying about the past, not worrying about the future, but taking that next step and make sure that next step is the right step is really what I'm focused on right now. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good luck to you.